Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Bicycle Built For You and the Little Bell from Trim the Tree. So I've stamped my images out on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. I'm starting with the skin for both my bride and groom and I'm using E000, E00, and E11. So E11 is going to be my shadow color. I just put that under their hairline and a little bit under their legs and arms. And then I'm blending out with the E00. And then just on their faces, I added a little of the E000. And a little R20 for the rosy cheeks on my girl. Next, I'm doing the groom's hair, and I'm using E55, E57, and E59. So this card is actually a wedding card for my cousin Jesse, who is getting married next week, and he's marrying a girl named Avery. So um, Jesse has dark hair, so I wanted to color his to match. So I started with the E59 close to the edges of the waves, and then as I'm moving back, I'm using the E57 and then the E55. I'm just doing real simple coloring on the hair for these characters, since that's the way they're drawn. For the girl, I'm using YR23, Y26, and Y28. I'm experimenting here with some different colors for blonde. I'm trying to match something close to what Avery looks like. So I started with that Y28, and then I'm blending out with the Y26, and then the YR23. Um, I did feel like it was getting a little bit too dark. She has pretty light blonde hair. So after I went back and forth a little bit with these markers, I'm going to add in a fourth color and that's going to be the YR21. So that will just help me blend everything out and make it look a little bit more of a golden blonde. And I also colored the bell with those same markers. Then I'm moving on to her wedding dress and I'm using BG10 and BG11 to add just a little bit of shading to that. I still want it to look white. So I'm using a little BG11 on the outside edge and under her arm where it would cast a shadow and also on her shoes and then blend it out with the BG10. I'm also going to use that to color in her veil and the groom's shirt. Then for his pants, I'm using C3, C7, and C9. So C9 on the outside edge and on the inseam of his uh, leg that's on the far side as well, also his shoes, and then uh, C7 is my midtone, and then C5 is my highlight. And I'll also color in the top hat and the wheels and several different parts of the bicycle with those markers. Then I'm moving on to the flowers. I'm using R01 and R02 for those. Just using a little R02 on the bottom left corner, and then I'm going to blend upward with the R01. And I'm also going to color in his tie with that shade and the band on his top hat. Then I'm going back to my BGs, but I'm going to add in the BG13, and that's what I'm going to use to color in the bicycle. I thought a nice pretty aqua would uh, look really cool and vintage, kind of in the style of this bike. And then I'm adding the BG13 as my darkest, so just any place where I feel like some shadows should go. And then I'm going to blend out with the BG11. Most of the bike is going to be those two shades. There's just a few little places where the sunlight would hit a little bit more that I'm going to add that BG10. And then I'll trim all my images out with the matching dies. Next I'm taking the new Build a House die set and I'm going to turn the house into a wedding chapel. So I've die cut the actual building out of some pale gray cardstock and then I did all the accessories out of black licorice cardstock. And then I have a little piece of narwhal that made up the doorknob. So I'm going to attach all my pieces with the glue tube. 
and I like this glue because it has a very thin nozzle so I can put down a super fine bead of glue and just go ahead and attach my roof line and the awning. Then I've got this little do uh, window frame that I can add so I'm just going to dot a little bit of glue here and there on some of the points and then tap that just so it doesn't kind of squish out since it's super thin. And I'll take my EK Success reverse tweezers to help me get that placed perfectly right over top of the window cutout. And then I'll take my door, which does open. I wanted to show you guys that even though it will be closed on my card today because it'll be covered up. But um, it does open so you could put something super cute inside. But I'm just going to attach that right in the center of the building. You could put that a little to the left or right, but for the chapel I thought front and center would look good. Next I'm going to work on my sentiment. I've got a piece of Lawn Fawn vellum trimmed down and I'm going to dust that with an EK Success powder tool just to eliminate any static cling. Then I'm going to take my sentiment and ink that up with some Versamark ink. It's just a clear sticky ink that works great for embossing. So I'm going to stamp that down nice and light, not pressing too hard. Then I'll grab some white embossing powder and sprinkle that over top, making sure to coat that generously and then tap off any excess. And I will grab my heat tool and just bring that to the back first to help that get started and then quickly bring that to the front to help melt it the rest of the way. While I have my Misty out, I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Merman ink to stamp the bicycle once again along with the sentiment that says, enjoy the ride. And then I'm also going to add on the little tin cans that are tied to the back bumper of the bike. Now I'm ready to assemble my scene. So I'm working straight on the card base and first I'm going to use the stitch tree border and I've die cut that out of some craft cardstock. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to the back of the trees as well. And then I'm going to center that where I want it on the card. I want to make sure that I have some trees on the left and right that are going to show from behind the chapel. Then I have um, some of the treetops cut out of noble fir and cilantro cardstock. So I'm going to add two with the cilantro and one with the noble fir and I'm just going to alternate. So I have the cilantro on the far left and then noble fir and then cilantro again on the far right. And I'm just turning those a little bit so that they're not exactly the same. They're kind of wonky shaped. So if you just turn them a bit, you get a different look. Then I'm going to take another piece of noble fur that I trimmed down using the stitched hillside borders and I'm going to line that up right over top. It matches perfectly and it is at an angle but you'll never know in the end card. So I'm going to open up my card base and just trim off any of the excess cardstock that's hanging over the edge. And then I'm going to grab my next piece, and that is going to be the parking lot, and that is out of narwhal cardstock. And I trim that with a simple stitched hillside border. I'm going to take my vellum sentiment that I trimmed down and just wrap it around the back and secure that in place with a little bit of post-it tape. And then I'm going to add some more liquid glue over the back of that, and I'll pop that down flush with the bottom of my card. And that way I don't have to worry about any adhesive showing underneath that vellum. It is only attached from the back side. Then I'm going to grab my wedding chapel and I've added a ton of foam tape to the back to make sure it is really well supported. And I also added just a tiny little piece in the center of that window frame. And that is how I'm going to attach the bell. I'm just going to pop that on there so it will be set back just a bit and look like it's hanging in that bell tower. Then I'm going to pop that up towards the top of that parking lot so it's on the top left of the card. And that will give me enough room to add my couple on their bicycle. Um, before I do that, I'm going to add the church steps. I just added that with a little bit of foam tape as well. 
and then I've got some foam tape on my bike. I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue for the parts that are going to overlap the chapel and then I'm going to adhere that down and I'm going to let the tires overlap that sentiment just a tiny bit and that will also help that be held down in place. Then I have my groom that I can add to the front of the bike and the bride on the back so she can have her hair kind of whipping in the wind and her veil as well once I get that attached. So I'm just going to add a little liquid glue to that since that will be completely on the bride and the chapel so it doesn't need any foam tape. And then I'm going to give the groom the little top hat and his tie as well. So I'm just going to use my little uh, tweezers again to attach those just to help me get them in there since they're kind of fiddly and then I can kind of see where I want to put it down beforehand and then press it down into place. I'm going to add the tin cans to the back of the bicycle with a little foam tape and then the uh, flowers in the basket at the front. And I had stamped two more flower uh, bouquets, but I ended up not using them. They were going to go on either side of the chapel door, but they didn't really uh, fit. It would have been a little lopsided just on the left. I did add a cloud from Spring Showers up in the top right corner to kind of fill in that space. And then I'm adding some crystal stickles to the bride's dress and veil and to the centers of all of the flowers. And I felt like that top right corner just needed another pop of that coral color. So I took one of the little butterflies from Butterfly Kisses and colored and trimmed that out. And I popped that up with foam tape right on top of the cloud. And that is going to complete my card for today. There was another peek at the inside and a look at all that sparkle and shine on the bride. And I had a whole lot of fun turning this little house into a wedding chapel. And I hope that Jesse and Avery really enjoy it and that they have a beautiful wedding day to start off their lives together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment down below. I'd love to read your feedback. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to have your support. If you'd like to keep on watching, here's two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.